Hi all, and welcome to the video. In this one, it's Let's Build a Toon Series 6. Number 38? As you can see, I'm starting this episode on Rubicar, and the uh, reason for that is we don't actually need to go to Shadowlands. When I was there last time, I actually picked up a spare doja. Well, I say spare, you can't literally have two in your inventory, but yeah. So today's plate of fun stuff to do. Yes, we've got spaced out, etc. And I'm going to try and squeeze in... Ooh. Get that camera aligned. Yeah, I'm going to try and squeeze in another run with the uh, Halloween. At least get the uh, the basic mission done. So apparently we're going just outside Newland for this one. Come see our friend, the one with the mysterious, unexplained itch. Yeah, exactly. Ah, sunrise. Look at the shadows we cast. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? Yes, indeed. There he is, Nicholas Washer. He's different. Yeah, it's because you get a different NPC when you come here. I hear you've been abducted. Oh no, I has the stasis field. Must have active mission. Yeah, it doesn't tell you what the effects are. Or does it tell you if you... Nope. Still doesn't tell you. There you go. What kind of ship was it? Not that it matters what you actually say to him, to be perfectly honest. Goodbye. We're going to a ship. Please don't be cocoons. Ah, it's not. Okay, cool. Pets, follow me. Yes, indeed. Okay. Let's uh, taunt it over. Dun, 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 dun. Dramatic music. Ow! That's better. It actually hit me. How gimp is this guy? I am on full death, am I not? I do wonder sometimes if that's actually lying to me. And in fact, I'm on full ag or something, and that's why he's been so gimpy. That has happened before, you know. And the medical. I wish I had better debuffs. I can, of course, hit that. I just wish it lasted longer or, you know, something. I mean, a trader drain lasts way longer than that on a mob trying to stop it casting something, especially heals, which make it more difficult to kill. Okay, and... Nuclear dude. Here he comes with his nukes. Ow. And the cooldown on it is much too short. There you go. Cast something now then, smart ass. With, you know, negative 3k in nano skills. This would work far better if we had more damage. However, MPs don't. Simple as that, really. Yeah, so basically for this playthrough, we're pretty much at the end now, I would say. We're, we're at the end game stage of just pure grind to get items, you know, do gauntlet, get shoulder pads, do beasts, you know get the next thing, etc, etc. There's not a lot else left to achieve with the character. I mean, yeah, the 225 pet is going still, I think, to be a little bit of a challenge. But yeah, I was watching uh, another MP the other day who had a bow, beast bow, in fact, and full awakened beast armor. Really well geared player. And he didn't use the nuke once. I think he felt it was beneath him to use that nuke. 
So, however, for mesticles, not so much because it pretty much out damages anything else we can do outside of the pet itself. He did have the 225 pet as well, so I was taking quite a bit of interest in how he was built. There you go, we've been, but you can't talk to him again. I don't know you. Well, no, but you were just speaking to me. How long have I got left on this shield? Two hours. Yeah, I just haven't been doing uh, Inferno missions and stuff like that, which usually buffers up your research quite a bit. Uh, a lot more than uh, dailies do in speed. Depending on um, how good the team you're with is. You know, obviously that you know that is a big factor. If you're getting a high damage team full of 220s, then you're going to get through Inferno missions very, very quickly. I don't mean the new ones. I, I don't like those because they're fixed on time. Whereas, you know, an experienced bunch of 220s whizzing through a Inferno hard, even a big mission, you know, 200 plus mobs, will get that mission done in 30 minutes versus being stuck for 45 minutes in a medium even longer in the hards god oh my it feels like such a drag and also you could have easily done you know several inferno hards with the same team if you were doing the old version so you know there's that now i noticed there was something i managed to not hand in which was this well done me yeah and also we've got a dojo, as I mentioned before. So we've got those to hand in as well today. Uh, unfortunately, there's no more arbiters, but hey, never mind. Where am I going? I need to be going northeast. Yes, I do. So have you taken advantage of any of Funcom's offers? Have you taken advantage of the free week? I didn't even get an email about that from Funcom. I'm not sure who does their marketing for AO, but uh, you must have a vast database, you know. Um, I didn't get it. I'm, I'm guessing a few other people did. They promoted it on uh, Twitter and Facebook. No videos or anything, though, obviously. You know, that, that's all Conan and, you know, basically everything except Anarchy Online as far as... Um, Fun comma concerned matters more. Which is probably true financially. Let's face it, but hey, it is what it is. So yeah, they've done that. They've also added a couple of enticements if you subscribe for 30 days. Come, uh, some social items, basically. Which, I don't know if that's really enough to entice people back to game. It's fairly unique. Uh, I'll grab a screenshot of it and throw it on about now. And looks like we just missed a kill here. Yes, it does. Let's get the boys here. Uh, what do we got? 29 minutes, damn! Uh, 9 minutes on that one. Anything interesting? No. Shame. Yes, I think he's got a bock and only that pet. Yeah, interesting. 219. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> he's still at that character. Oh yeah, and the others here and there. That's something else I quite like about Engineer is, obviously, when you want to cast a pet, you cast a casing into your inventory. So you've always got a backup pet, you know. It is nice when people come along and say hello. I'm excited. Your Engi video made me want to play again and make this character. Good luck out there. Thanks. <laughs> That's one thing the MP needs most definitely is a lot more luck kind of relies on it really so we've got 15 pigging minutes to wait Ugh. I'm actually debating whether or not to go and hand this doger in and then come back 
and we're here. It's a little closer to due time, as you can see there. Stood there with a stormer. <laughs> he turned up and went, oh hey, I'm going to bring out my NT as well. So this should go rather quickly. Also an agent showed up as well. So yeah, between everybody here, not including myself this is, an NT, an enforcer and an agent are going to make mincemeat out of uh, the prisoner, I think. Almost certainly. And after this is done, yeah, it's the graffiti mission again. Hoorah! Who doesn't love the graffiti mission? Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> when the NT gets here, my little new is going to look incredibly silly. Yes, it is. I'll put the heel pet on the agent, seeing as they're taking a bit of damage there. Not sure where um, the NT is. Probably in the vicinity by now. They were flying them in. Well, the NT didn't show up, so I didn't feel quite so stupid using that Gimpass bloody thing. Oh, God, yeah. Pet is too far away. Great. Right, okay, uh, let's go to the Shadowlands. I said I wasn't, but now I am. And I've only come here, basically, so I can whiz back to Job and hand this little daily dojo in. Because why not? I do like Job and this sort of entrance to Nascence. I've always sort of felt it was um, pretty interesting to look at, you know, visually, the design, etc. A lot of work went into this. Yeah, it definitely did. Scarlet Dalquist. Take away. Oh god, she's on her. There we go. You don't need the dialogue, you can just hand in. And we're still getting small beans in research there because I've gone back a bit and started putting into jealousy, which is going to help mostly uh, with one hand blunt. Yes, it is. Right, let's go hand in the freelancers one which even though I completed I completely then forgot to hand the bloody thing in like a numpty ICC where frame rates go to die Right, Mr. Ralph. Six thousand four hundred and nine tokens. And a research line done. So what did I actually gain from that? I wasn't even looking while I was explaining which one I'm doing. So that was Jealousy 6 completed, which is Modify Adult Def 15. So the next one's a Nano Cost. Add nano cost minus three minus three twice for some bizarre reason. And then we get an adult death and then one hand blunt and direct nano damage. Which, yeah, 5% of diddly squat is still diddly squat. So, yeah, not the best. Right, let's go get flagged. Was it four holes, this one? Four holes graffiti. At least it's not an area you instantly crash in with the new engine. That's something. We have had some very interesting experiences, let's say, 
Uh, trying to do this at Foreman's on the new engine. Loads of fun. Sooner or later, I'm going to get ganked and I'm going to die here. Yes, I am. Hey ho. Have we been to see the warden? I don't think we have yet. No, we haven't. The days just blur from one to the other. Yes, they do. It's terrible. Quite often I see Lefty out of the corner of my eye and think somebody's following me. Strange, I know. Especially in paranoia-inducing paranoia situations like this one, going and getting yourself flagged while you're solo with no backup and would make a very meagre offering in uh, any form of PvP, to be quite honest. Two shields and, and whatnot, not bad. I mean, that agent had a good pop at us, but actually missed a few things. Obviously, agents have the strongest alpha in PvP. It's kind of their stock and trade, I guess you would call it. Something like that. You know, we're basically good luck if an agent comes after you. You know, especially if they've got CH plus they've also got, you know, Awakened. So that's basically two in one hit kind of a thing. All right, we'll hand in to you. Mission complete. Goodbye. Get that AI daily done. Don't let them slide because reasons. Alien and yeah, there we go. Mission complete. Goodbye. I wish you got 59 for all of them. As you do at like AI th uh, 29. And I still need to return to Warden Stains again. Yes, we do. I would have liked to have carried on with the Inferno quest that we had hanging over, but yeah. There's nothing much improved about the character since then, and there is no way he can take the kind of damage output that boss has got. Just no way. I think even fully geared up with all the shiny stuff and a couple of shields on, no. Because he just can't debuff the damage of the thing he's fighting enough and the heal pet can't keep up with the damage even on the pet really so yeah it's a no so yeah MP's yeah, fairly interesting class of the three pet classes that I have all 220 remember crap Engi and MP, I, w I would say almost certainly MP would be the least favourite, being honest. Sorry if your favourite class to play is MP and you think I've got that wrong. Well, no, I haven't got it wrong. It's like me saying, I don't like vanilla ice cream. And you're going, but it's the best ice cream. Well, you think it is. It doesn't mean it is. It means you like it the most. I'm just saying, me personally, I think they're the weakest. Just my thing. You know, it feels like I'm making an effort when I log him in. If that makes any sense whatsoever, I, it probably doesn't. But yeah, it, it sort of feels like, huh, oh well, I suppose I better log the MP in then. You know, whereas with the NT... And a lot of, you know, virtually every other one I've played, it's like, I couldn't wait to log in and, and do something with them. But with MP, start to finish, apart from a few highlights, I think early on when you've got high, much higher level pets than you are, etc., because of buffs and wrangles and items and whatnot, it, it's a lot of fun because you get that twink, you know, twinking your character feeling that you, you only really get in Anarchy Online. And yeah... I think like like a lot of uh, pet classes, once you get to sort of 150, that wears off anyway. Because, you know, suddenly level locks come into play obscurely for that one thing. Which, you know, puts the mockers on it a little bit. But yeah, MP, yeah, it's okay. It's not my favourite though. No, it isn't. Thus far of all the let's build characters I've made, I would say I don't have a favourite. 
to be honest. I, I really don't. Maybe NT. Definitely went the furthest with that, but maybe if I breed change this guy, I'm giving it some serious thought. I mean, it's an expensive thing to do. Let's have a look in the store. How much is a breed change? Yeah, that's a lot of Funcom points. 2,000 and that. That's going to cost you more than a month. Yeah, more than a month's subscription to do that um, by buying Funcom points. How much are they? They're no drop now, but for a time they went. And there are a few on GMI, but how much are they? Let's do a quick search. Say you wanted Sully Mail. They're not that expensive, actually. Not really. That's more realistic. Kind of half a bill. That I would probably do right away if there was one for that kind of price. What about Oppie Mail? Yeah, same again, really. 300 mil, yeah, I'd, I'd take it. I'd go do it as well. And I'd record the process so you could see the character going through the, the breed change process. That would be quite interesting, really. But nearly two billion for one? Uh, maybe. But I can't think of anything else I could do with the character that would make it more interesting to me. But I've never liked Nano Mage. Some people are really good with Nano Mage. They, they can overcome a lot of the weaknesses. Like Rob has a soldier which is outstanding but has some very specialised gear and is really quite complex to play, which, if you like that play style, is excellent. But, you know, I, I'm more of a... <laughs> I like to be the all-rounder, and that's difficult in AO because just because of the way the game is, if you know anything about it. You know that it is difficult to be... You know, peak performance for everything is nigh on impossible. But y you can get pretty close to being damn good at one thing or another. So, MP, not very good at soloing. Not that useful in a team or a raid. Kind of good for buffs and stuff. And, yeah. There's not what else I can say, really. I don't know, maybe what I should do is breed change, throw a bow on and... and you know, try and play them in a very different way. Could be that. I don't know. I don't know. What I think I'll do is talk in-game to some more, you know, experienced MPs, people that have played MPs for a long time. There's quite a few in Storm, actually. Some of them have three or four MPs for different things. So I'll probably talk to them about what, you know, what the possibilities are, what the permutations are, and, you know, maybe what we could do with the tomb but right now kind of not feeling it to be honest and that's the honest truth i'm sorry but there it is anyway folks we'll leave this one here and i'll just say bye for now